All right, seems like uh, the early beginning here was kind of covered by, by our uh, yeah, stories, but let's not forget about the games today, guys. We have three <laughs> best of threes. We start off with uh, two mirrors, two mirror matches, Human Mirror and Night of Mirror. And some of you might be frowning uh, about that, but I actually really enjoy Human Mirror, and I know you really like Night of Mirror. Yes, sir. And... God damn it, they both have, like, uh, the Chinese characters, so I can't tell them apart. Do you know who, which one is who? I think... The... That's an issue. <laughs> yep. Uh, but L Lucifer doesn't know as well, so he's asking. And now they're typing in Chinese and we can't figure it out. <laughs> okay, they will help us out. Here are the two players, of course. We have China versus Korea here in this human mirror. Sock from Korea. China is represented by Infi the former world champion of WCA. It's quite a one-sided match on paper. Sock has never won a series against Infi so far. It's 7 and 0 and a 78% win rate and maps for Infi. But it's not the greatest shape that Infi has usually, uh, like now. And... Oops. You know what's uh, really confusing? Nope. One of the referees, so one of the observers... It's called A1 Sock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the fuck? Um, so nobody actually knows who's who? <laughs> nah, uh, Ted said uh, Infi's red. Okay. Oda? Or? Uh, no. Oda? Wait. Nope. Blue's Infi, red Infi. They seriously. <laughs> well, this is a very professional start too. Guys. Yep, yep, yep. Your uh, start to the year seems to be very good. This chat, like the almighty chat, does they know? I think know? Infi's red. Because, okay. um, well, the observer who is called A1 Sock seems to be sure. <laughs> I will ask Wawa. Wawa knows everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Boots of Keltalas for the blue player. <laughs> and the red player with the subby mask. So the red player... And of experience, too. Oh, this yes. Is big drops. That is uh, indeed a very, very nice start for maybe Infi. Um, uh, one thing before the game here really starts going, I want to say one more thing about New Year's Eve. The one thing where you always complain about, you know, getting old, and I think uh, you're... Sometimes kidding about it, sometimes not, but anyways, one thing where I noticed I'm getting a little old is I was getting annoyed at people uh, like lighting firecrackers before it was time, you know? Mm -hmm. Like it was, they started at like, I don't know, 6 p.m. or something and I was walking through the city and it was so loud and stuff exploding everywhere and seriously, like I, I got uh, I got surprised and I got a little bit flustered by those things. <laughs> and I noticed, uh, Remo, you know, yep. you're becoming one of those old people. So, Chet says that Infi is red, and they looked it up, so that's good. Both are level 3 now, very, very fast level 3 for them, but of course, uh, slight experience advantage still for Infi, who I think tried to harass, but is now intercepted by Sog. <clears throat> Alright, he's going towards his opponent's main, and usually when you're the aggressor, that's always an advantage for you. Both players still on tier 1, of course, in you and Mirror. The tech happens very uh, very late, excuse me, because you want to get level 3 as quick as possible. For that, you need Militia. Uh, very little Lumber, and so on, and so on. And yeah, if you can kill Peasants here, that's going to delay all the tier 2. And even if they're only morphed into Militia, that already takes away from the Lumber income. And this may be reflected in the tech as well, which is starting right now for Infi. And on the other side, still going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, Sok is not that bad in Human Mirror, but Infi is so aggressive, of course, former master of this Human Mirror um, of this matchup. Before TH and Romantic kind of overcame him, so far I would rank him like rank 3 in Human Mirror worldwide. And like, we don't know what Yumiko is doing, but... Alright, he's trying to break this, there's a lot of footmen for Sok. But what can they actually do here? The Archmage is quite far away, got the boost of speed, and took a sweet time. And so he can't really defend it, but Infi doesn't get anything done so far. Now he killed one of the footies here with a three water limit. The damage is serious. 
And the militia time, which isn't that much, but it's something. I really like how also uh, Sock is putting the herd militia into the gold mine. That way he won't be uh, pulling the herd militia or the herd peasants into militia form. Yeah, one footy kill, a bit of, uh, you know, uh, lumber harass with the militia form. And the attack is a little bit later, so a slight advantage for Infi, but of course nothing that will tip the scales. It's actually funny how he didn't get the huge advantage from this tomb of experience. Like they're both yeah, level I felt three. The same. There's there is pressure, but it's not overwhelming. He's defending it well. The tech is not too late, so that's kind of surprising. And what's also unusual to see for me is there's only one arcane tower in each base. Yeah. In the past, we sometimes even saw three against the water elemental and harass. I guess this is the new meta: one arcane and also no shadow priests yet. Yeah, that is really surprising. I think Infi wanted to go for the mercenary camp quite early on, but there was like he didn't pull anything. Uh, maybe he was distracted by Sokka, I didn't quite attack. catch it. Would be huge if he steals that one there. But so far, you're right. Sok had the better starting position while being next to the mercenary camp, but it's not capitalizing from it yet as Infi is putting the thumb on him the entire time. Arcane Volt is coming, three footmen in the base are quite hurt, and oh, oh four actually. So this. Region Sprawl will have big value. More footmen coming from Infi Space, who is about to finalize tier 2. There we go, and oh, it's gonna the be a block from Infi. Is he gonna keep this footy alive? The booster speed, though, makes it so. Good item, by the way, Neo. He can chase it down, and that will be the first kill? No, he has to have more. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. good levels already, experience. And he's now ahead in experience despite the Tome of Experience. Yeah, he saved a lot of footmen, didn't grant a lot of experience to his opponent, and level 4 is. Like, usually not that important for a hero, but Brilliance Aura 2 in this matchup is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. For the priests, more dispel, fewer water elementals, all that. And the MK, of course. It's, by the way, an entrance to the base, which I don't think is actually a mistake, because when is your opponent really ever going to run in there? Yeah. Going to lose one more footy here. Both Archmages getting closer to four. One of the Sanctums here will get cancelled, and this yes, can yeah. be a big deal. Yeah, that's really big. He positions another one. On a silver platinum there in front of the base, maybe a little layout mistake there, as he doesn't build them both inside the base. But alright. Infi has the first one finished, the second one is about to complete. And yeah, priests are coming, both decide to go for a Mountain King, no panda action here, also no naga or whatever, no unusual choices. That means this will most likely be a longer game. And now creeping intensifies, and then later we will get insta gib action against the priest, these poor fellas. Or, as uh, the small Remo always hopes, is tier 3 action with uh, mortar teams and knights and maybe even griffins and all that. Of course, uh, this is one of the better maps for it, the big one. And if you want to go that route, you have to have Lumber, and Lumber is most notably where this early game is being reflected. Sok is very low on Lumber, didn't have the presence of mind or didn't want to get a Lumber mill, whereas Infi on the other side, lots of Lumber, rather low on Gold on the other side. And maybe, if he wants to, can go for tier uh, tier 3, yeah. MK, what did he find? Bell of Giant Strength, mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. And on the other side, we have Healing Potion, also. Okay. Kind of the same, I guess. Healing. Yeah, it's, yeah exactly. It's, tankiness. it's okay. Tankiness, exactly. Mountain King of Infi is quite well equipped, and this is most likely going to be an expansion. Police is coming, shout out to Todd. And, yeah, both are going for this expansion. This is... Nice. A little bit of a like 2014-ish game, mm. but we have seen it as well in the NSL quarterfinal of the Ascension phase that they really tried to go for the tier 2 expansions at the moment. And it, now the question is, of course, who's going to hold it? Who's going to get it up? And how much pressure is Infi putting on him? But I think both are quite fine with creeping at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to comment on the game as well, but... I got a massive lag. Game is still right. paused for me. Why don't you get long life, man? I, this I is... do. And I tried to... Uh, my my uh, account expired and I tried to use one of the new codes and it told me it doesn't work. Then you have to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheap fuck. <laughs> Mountain King close to level 3 here, Claws of Attack plus 9 is going to be a good item on the Archmage. Staff action as the Archmage is here, don't want to lose anything, but the Footman dies already. But the Staff 
We saw at the GCS Summer how amazing a staff can be in Human Mirror. Can you, like, remember Romantic versus TH? How he dominated him with the staffing action, especially on TR. That was insane to watch. And maybe Infi uh, took a little of Romantic's playbook. Of course, on TM, it makes a lot of sense as the map is so big and you need some mobility. Boots on the Mountain King, Staff on the Archmage. I like Infi's play here. Bone Chimes. If he goes Knights, tremendous item. Stonebolt on the Priest. That was ensnared. And this one falls as well. So two pickups for Infi. Quite well done. And I think you're still lagging, so I will cover this. Little skirmish here. Infi's about to lose a Footman as well. There is another Stormball, uh, Footman Priest, I mean. But the Priest count should be like two, two to one. Next Stormball. And he gets the second Priest as well. Sock reacting very, very well to this, while another one falls in the north. Who's gonna get to level 5 first? That's gonna be the question here. Sock is running away from this, chasing a few more of those priests. And he's level 4 and a half, while Infi still stuck on 4.25 or something. That could hurt him, and gets another pickup here. Sock is playing this way better than expected. Now focus on the Mountain King. Is there a Stone Bolt? Yes, there is. He has to be careful. But there's Boots and the Heal Potion, so he should be fine. Level 4 on the MK, though. Super fast creeping for him. And both get the expansions up. Do we see a Tier 3? Not yet by Sock. Not yet by Infi. Now it's Breaker's time. So far, we have only seen Footman and Priest. A few of them were sniped. But yeah, this is gonna be the meta for the rest of the game, most likely. Breaker Wars, they have no upgrades as of yet. But this is what we expect from Human Mirror. Are you back in the game? Nope, you left um, the game. I'm not even in uh, Nettie's at the moment. Okay, yeah. Japan had the same issue, apparently, so... I don't know what's up. Very, very tanky Mountain King for Infi, man. Belt of Giant Strength, Talisman of Evasion, and the Ring now. This is super... Like... 1,150? No, no, plus two. But it's six armor now. And it's quite nice. Yeah, it's time to, as you mentioned, the ring plus four. It's time to go for the rat spots now. Sock obviously saw this. He will catch the reinforcements or creep jack him. This is a really ballsy move by Infi. If he starts this, he shouldn't do this. I mean, he sees his opponent. No, no, no. He's just having the better position here. Actually saves the spellbreaker. I think a little mistake from Sock. And he wants to force the town pound now to get time for this rat spot, which is a very clever move from the Chinese, I think. Next storm will most likely force it, but he was a little lazy with the Mountain King here, there we go, tries to Stormbolt him, doesn't get it, and now it's Red Spot time, and there's Step of Silence, there's Spell Shield, there's Mana uh, Pendant, this all gonna be good, most likely, and of course there's Ring Plus 4 as well. Are you I'm watching the restream now, so I'm gonna be a little bit behind, uh, so the play-by-play -play will still be your domain, but Staff Can of Silence... Rejoin um, the game if you start Nettie's again. I can't even join Nettie's. Oh, that is bad. Okay. Nope. Step of Silence it is. Not that great, I think, because there's, of course, Dispel. And it's not Coil Nova action or something, but you can um, delay the healing on the priest for a little bit. You can disable the ability for the Mountain King to Stormbolt in the right time. There's a little bit of harass going on here. With Priest, though, I don't get this because they don't do damage. But he follows with the rest of the army, and Sock has to react. This could be the second town portal in under 90 seconds. And this is quite costly. I mean, he can't afford it, of course. Nice surround staff of silence. He's going onto the Archmage. Good damage, but that's... A... Oh, oh god, he's following him. He has no TP, obviously, but an Invo Potion. So he's safe for now. Stormbolt on Infi's in, uh, mountain, in, Archmage, who gets an Invo Potion. Stormbolt, nice dodge with the Invo. So, who's gonna die first? Sock is calling Militia to deflect the Spellbreakers for a little bit. 1-1 one, one upgrades versus 0-0, zero, zero, so Infi should be able to win this fight. Next, focus on the hero here. But, oh, gets a bash, but not able to surround him. That's free damage at the moment for Sock. And again, the Korean survives this way better than expected. Level 5 on the Mountain King now, though. Did he out-level the Archmage? Yes, he did. <laughs> That's quite funny. And Infi <clears throat> totally... Um, 
overcame it in experience. So he killed a lot more, apparently. And there is tier 3 for him. This means Knights, Mortars, and Paladin. Very, like, earlier attack for the Chinese. Yeah. So and he has... All something that sometimes gets uh, underrated is also the master training for the priest. They yeah. don't die to the level 3 bolt instantly anymore. Just above the threshold. And... Yeah, man, this is uh, what I like to see. Tier 3 human action on Twisted. I hope none of these players dies before we see the full arsenal. With the yeah, knights and the mortar teams. It's such a good advantage. It's basically like Orc Mirror, where you see Tier 3 quite rarely, but if you get to Tier 3, it's just so good. Um, the Orb of Fire, of course, is not nearly as good as the Orb of Lightning, but, as you said, Priest Master Training, Knights with the uh, with the upgrade, Mortar Teams with Fragmentation Shards are amazing. Paladin is there to help. So this is all very, very good. And he's two levels ahead on this Mountain King. The Stormbolt hurt so bad. Nice Concave burns a lot of mana on this Mountain King. Plus there's a Staff of Silence, which he used already, but I think was dispelled. Archmage far in the back. Um, and yeah, there's no Master Training yet, so there's the insta -gip. One Stormbolt remaining and one Water Elemental for Infi. On the other side, we have three Water Elementals and three Stormbolts. So, he needs some more experience, though. He doesn't have the 900 HP Water Torrents. It's still the little ones for level 2. 1-1 one, one upgrade versus 2-1 upgrade. Infi should be able to take this. Also has a Heal Scroll, has an Invo Potion, Step of Silence again. And he's not healing this. He's not dispelling this at all. He got all... Priest here, so there is no dispel. Well, well done by Infi so far here. And Sock is backed against the corner. He can volley one spellbreaker after the other. Now it's Mountain King Wars. Is there another no, Stormbolt? No, apparently not. Not on this side, actually. Again, nice dodge with the invol. There's two breakers about to fall. This Mountain King is about to fall. Infi is just moving forward and forward. There's just this one direction. And of course the reinforcements will be intercepted. 72 versus 59 supply. And the mortar teams are there as well. This one is for Sock. Attacking the priests a little bit. But that's about it. So he buys a little time. But the knights are coming. And the paladin is there. With a the staff of sanctuary now. He's still not level 5. How does he want to hold this? Infi three quarters of a level ahead. Plus the Mountain King is about to be level 6 as well. I really like how he prioritized the MK. We see the power of the level 5 Dwarf here, it's just crazy. And how is he fighting against the level 3 MK on the <laughs> Yes, side? it's so like, sick. And the Water cool. Torrents, like there's so many advantages for Infi now. He says, okay, if you're hiding in your expansion, I'm just... setting back a bit, heal a little, get some mana back. And then push again, the Staff of Silence is off cooldown. There's no Knights coming for Sock, as it seems. Continues to build Spellbreakers. 3-1 attack upgrades for Infi. Holy cow. And the first knight is there. The normal damage of the knights against the Spellbreaker is going to be key. 43 damage average and a super fast attack speed. He's ahead by more than 10 supply. He's ahead in upgrades. He's ahead with hero levels. It seems like he should just be able to A-click this. Yeah. But he's taking his time. Two times in a fire being dispelled, that was quite costly. Gets the dispel on the water elementals here, as they are still level 2. Very easy to dispel them and uh, cost effective. Again, a mortar team, two of them. He didn't kill the first one, even though he chased him there. It's 80 supply. What is. It's, it's like? the inner fire ping pong, it's going from one side <laughs> to the other. <laughs> That's true. Just need him at the right moment. And now we have a Zeppelin, that's quite cool. Oh, Stormbolt on the level 3 Mountain King. It gets a Holy Light, but that's about it, man. Does he have a staff? I hope so. Yes. Oh, gets him in the Zeppelin for now. Inner Fire Ping Pong, as he said. Water teams are doing quite a good damage, but Infi splits his Water Elementals far away from the priests. So they can't be dispelled, and they take care of the reinforcements here. Infi is pulling all the right strings. The damage is gone from this army. And the Zeppelin was a nice idea, but he's not using it well. Paladin in jeopardy now, and the Mountain King as well. One hero will fall in a bit. There's no real rescue for this except Holy Light. Step of Silence being used again, and this MK dies. Double level up. Level 6 on his first and second hero. Mass Teleport, Avatar, and GG by Sock. First game is over, and Infi is the winner. Sock held on really well there. It looked good for long periods of time but all in all infi was in control wasn't he yeah absolute dominance i mean it was quite surprising how sock held this 
uh, as we mentioned before, despite the tumor of experience, this could have gone a lot worse. Um, but yeah, what was the key there? I mean, the fight at the shop, I guess, was quite good. But that's about it, right? Of course, uh, level 5 MK, also a very big deal. But yeah. by that point, yeah. he already, already had a good advantage. Yeah. But I like how he prioritized this. I don't think I've seen that too much. When you're level 4 Archmage, then you say, all right, I'm satisfied with this. Now let's power level the MK. And it makes so much sense, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's just so powerful against those priests and also against heroes, of, of course. Yeah. That's match points for Infis, then. And if he wins one more map, he's in the winner bracket final against either Life or Colorful, who will play the Knight of Mirror after this one. And that would mean that his day would be over. We have seen a lot of 2-0s in Group A. Only the winner bracket final was a 2-1. Gotta watch these matches, by the way. It's so, so funny. Focus versus uh, Cini. Quite cool micro What the hell? Which heroes did Cini play? Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. <laughs> Warden plus Dark Ranger. Warden, what? Dark Ranger, Tower Push. That was so stupid. <laughs> like against Orc, why would you pick the Dark Ranger as a second hero for a Tower Push? I didn't get that at all. But yeah, that was uh, fun drain. games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, life drain very effective against Orc. Oh well, that was that was a pleasure to watch. Uh, but apart from that, very one-sided games. Like we had three series finishing in less than thirty minutes, which is super rare. Seems like this uh, is a little more normal. Thirty-minute first game. It's already longer than the uh, two winner bracket semifinals that we've seen on when uh, Thursday. And I hope your connection is fine this time to have your expertise live here. I hope so too. We do have some supporters. Thank you very much, uh, Trigorine, for the first time sub. Halolo for six months, half a year. Uh, thank you very much for the support. Mac, uh, CZ1, thank you for the sub. Flow87 and Vicious for 12 months. Happy one year anniversary. I've subbed to your channel every month with my Twitch Prime free sub, BTW Muddy. Thank you very much, man. It's, uh, of course, with a Twitch Prime, you have to do it every month again. So thank you very much much for not forgetting about us and uh, following us for the entire year. Of course, if you have Twitch Prime, you have one free sub per month. And if you spend it on us, that is uh, a pleasure and an honor. Because there's so many channels that you can choose from. And you chose us. Before. Thanks, guys. So, next map, we go from the biggest to the smallest. MK level 5, not that likely. And especially tier 3 knights play, not that likely. I assume we're going to see a lot of pressure from uh, one of these players, or both of these players, and once again, Breaker Wars. Most likely. And I wonder if it's like the Shadow Priest, is this just not a thing anymore? Or did the players just not have time before? Because this is one of the harder merc camps to be made accessible. Ah, oh, you can so pull the priest, it's okay. I think this is like the biggest thing of 2017 uh, to pull the creeps away from the mercenary camp, get the units there. Like, of course, this is not a thing that people invented in 2017, but the frequency of it being used was really, really high. Of course, especially for Night Elf uh, with Wisps or Archers, that can be done very, very well. But if you do that with footies alone, they get purged and then do they even die? I'm not sure, but they take a lot of damage. You can do it, of course, with the Archmage, but for that you have to use the Archmage, can't go creeping with it in the meantime. So, uh, still, I don't know. Maybe it's just not part of the meta anymore. I think but... we will see it here. Would be very, right, very Want to make a bet? I Five... say one Shadow Priest max. Max? Okay. Max. Five bucks? Five bucks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I say uh, more than one. How long have you been a streamer, Neo? Um, that's my 10th year. I think in May I have my 10 year anniversary. Yeah, I saw in 2009 and you 2008, yeah. yeah. God damn, Neo, you really are old, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am. 28. So when's the wisdom going to come, Neo? <laughs> <laughs> well, s since I'm spending a lot of time with you, 
Like, you don't make me... You have me... to adjust to my level, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, this means uh, lowering the level a bit. Thanks for explaining. I wouldn't have understood otherwise, Neo. I know, I know. <laughs> Dude, I was chatting with some guy from Canada before the stream started, and they have minus 40 degrees there. Like, holy shit. Can't... Do you remember, like, how cold Celsius it was? Celsius or... Yeah, 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 or Celsius. I was asking as well, like, are you kidding me? No, no. <laughs> like, we were dying in Yinchuan at minus 20, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they have... Minus 40. Minus 40 degrees. So, shout out to Canada. Best I thought thing you can do is, like, stay home, watch back to Warcraft. Are they, like, snowed in? Like, five yeah, I think meters of snow? There's a blizzard now. fucking crazy yeah, i couldn't I, I don't think i could live there dude it's like 40 degrees like what do you do well i i get i don't know for a gamer maybe things think don't fine. change too much you know you stay inside the way it always is <laughs> shut the blinds and i think it would be cool to have like a little hippie commune is it called commune in english i don't know like yeah i know what you mean but i don't know if it's the right word when you know that the storm is coming you gather with like five friends or so and you you spend the entire time in one house so that's I think that could be cool. And you play Mario Kart. Mario Kart, of course, and then you kill each other uh, because he gets so angry because one gets the blue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Thing. We, uh, one of our friends, when we play Mario Kart, he always says, "Come on, guys!" But this time we play without a blue shell. We're like, <laughs> "Fuck you, man!" Like, why don't why don't you take the uh, alcohol out of beer as well? Like, don't you want to have any fun? <laughs> blue shell is the best and the worst, and that's cool. Level uh, like. Uh, the Archmages are about to pop out, so I think it's time to get a little serious here. The cast match points for Infi, Sock in the r Blue Trunks. And Sock... Oh, wait, Sock is red now? Then it... Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is so confusing. But yeah, Sock is so red So who now. was he sharing accounts with? Or who is he sharing accounts no with? No idea. I mean, they are in a team house, so a player's force most are likely Lolaid, Chimiko, or Soen. Maybe, Maybe it was Lolaid playing earlier. <laughs> so I'm playing a little bit of human uh, recent. Soen is streaming a lot with Jupanda, so maybe it was so uh, Soen. All right, at least uh, this time we are not in doubt. Should we ask if Infi is one zero in the lead? Yeah. That would be so embarrassing if we cast the entire game wrong. <laughs> what a start! And that is why I always say, players, could you please use your real IDs in official matches? Yeah. But it seems like I'm the only one who's of that opinion. Well, I'm agreeing. I think the audience is agreeing, but referees and stuff is not. Yeah, for, some, for some reason, pros just have an, uh, un an understandable love for their smurfs. Yeah. Get it. Okay, gotta confirm. Infi is 1-0 uh, in the lead. So everything was right. We didn't fuck it up, Rewo. I'm very, very happy about that. Circlet and Cloak. And... What the fuck is a over there? And Watch attack. Awards, or Sentry Awards. Quite a good inventory. And boots for him. On the other side, Gauntlets, Gloves and Wand. Not that nice, I think. Wand can be good, but so far you were right. No Shadow Priest again. And no Tier 2 techs as well. Dude, today Netty is, is as good for me as a Vodafone is for you. <laughs> that is not good. Do you use like you? Uh, you can download UU Accelerator. Maybe that helps. I have that one. That's for free. Oh. Okay. It's not like it has spikes and has delays. It just disconnects me completely from mm. Netty's. That's not good. Then we can't use Watch as well. But yeah, I will cast it then with my Players tremendous course. human mirror experience and expertise. <coughs> Level three, 
on Infi's side, gets the Tomb of Agility and the Mantle, which is really good. Level 3 for Sok as well, who has the boots. So his inventory is actually quite decent. So far the tech's halfway through for Infi and Sok quite far behind. Also a very early Lumber Mill, doesn't want to do the mistake as he did on Twisted. Um, to be like lumber stuck or anything. This will be a kill with the boots again. Boots providing quite a few kills here in these matches so far. So you are quite right that boots are a good item. Yeah, it's so nice. They are so good in the early game for chasing down footies and in the mid and late game for the MK as well. So good to get in, in, yeah. into position for the Storm Bolt. So, you know, expensive investment early on, but will most likely pay off. We have a Berserker. Still no... Ah, there it is. First one, Remo. Five bucks are getting closer and closer. Now the Lightning Shield on the Archmage. He can put that to very good use if he positions his Archmage a little more aggressively. And he has a lot more footmen here. And should be able to win this fight, except the Creeps are doing something crazy. And Forcer goes to Sock, as it seems. But he's still half a level away. And Infi is getting the next one. Tome of Intelligence as well, it's plus two damage. The Chinese again taking the lead here and where are all of Sock's footmen? It's like he only has four remaining. Infi has five plus the mercenaries. Are they in the base? Yeah, two of, two of them are in the base but they are hurt and again the shop is a little late. Infi's on tier two now. Getting the Mountain King again. No Panda and Brewmaster. And natural creep for him. He steals the big consumable from his opponent's side and he has the Robe of the Magi. This plus 9 attack and so much mana. And of course the experience is getting super close to 5. How is he dominating this early game so much? Like... What happened? I think he's like, he's just the aggressor. He's four and a half, dude. What the hell? Yeah. So fast. And the base is open! Oh, what a timing this is, man. Arcane Sanctum is gonna get wrecked! And he was late with attack, he was late with everything, and now it will be cancelled. Oh, this is disastrous for Sock. This is gonna be, well, looks like a very, very easy 2-0. And I don't think we will see a second Shadow Priest here. Arcane Tower is down, so no more feedback damage on these water elements. He's calling to arms, of course, mining time is reduced now. First one down, and he doesn't have mana, but the level up will give him mana for uh, the level 3 water elemental if he gets it. Losing a few footmen, but... Lowering the economy of Sock is just so, so, so good. And he doesn't even have to use the Town Portal as the Zeppelin is there. He's pulling all the right strings here. Not enough anti-air as it seems to knock this down. Nope. Spawns, oh, spawns level 2 Water Elemental. He was a little too fast with that. But the economy is so wrecked, man. There's like barely 7 footmen remaining. What Entire level ahead on the Archmage. And he's cancelling the buildings again. This is like child's play for Infi at this point. Sock is getting a few kills, yeah, but the Zeppelin micro. Like, saving so many units, saving the Zeppelin. Now he's chasing though. This could be. A, oh, the Stormbolt. He's actually saving the Zeppelin with 6 HP. Goes to play by Infi, Stormbolting the Archmage. And running away with the Zeppelin from the Water Elemental, so this can't be changed, but now it's dead! And now everything is in the forest! <laughs> How did that happen? Maybe creeps or something? Didn't follow it, I thought he was safe. So there's so much for the Gosu play. But yeah, that's four supplies stuck there. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, still. Again, it's the level 3 Water Elemental. It's like on Twisted. Just right-clicking the Archmage, he has no... Heal potion or anything. So he has to be passive the entire time, and the Mountain King takes his sweet, sweet time with his priests and militia, creeping this, expanding with this. Next Zeppelin is in, next Water Elemental will be summoned in a bit. Isn't it crazy how Infi makes a really good human player look like a ladder scrub? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's playing this so well, it's ridiculous. And then, and then, remind yourself how last week Infi was dominated by TH. Like, this is just another level. Sock is but you can also see the confidence here from Infi. He knows how good he is and how most likely better he is than his opponent. 
And he's completely right in this assessment so far. Yeah. The uh, expansion attempt, though, getting cancelled. Losing a few units here and there. But there is no economy anymore. Using the town portal now to get this Archmage out of his base. Stormwolf, but there is a potion. There is the TP. I, I really want to compare the gold mines in a bit. It's 7,500 for Sock. 6,600. This is a 900 gold harass. So far, as he's not mining at the moment. He's not saving his units from the forest there. Ah, uh, now he is. I thought he would leave them. Like Hensel and Gretel. Or like, what's that movie called? Uh... With Viggo Mortensen, where he moves into the forest to escape society. Oh, uh, it's not the road, right? No, no, no. The road is the super dark post-apocalyptic yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, something fantastic. Mr. Fantastic? Captain Fantastic? I don't know. Anyways. A few kills again. So, Infi doesn't get the expansion up. Losing three units here, which is quite nice for Sock, of course. But in the meantime, it's like happening again. He can't get the tower up, and one tower is definitely not enough against the 900 HP uh, Water Elemental. And he's not that far away from level 6, and then Mass Teleport. Yeah, it's a small map, but Mass Teleport is so much fun to play. I think he's just prolonging this game to have a little more fun as he's yeah. seemingly enjoying this now. It, yeah, it looks like he's playing with his food here. Yeah. MK is level 3 for him, by the way, after finishing the camp. Now he can really finish this game if he wants to, but doesn't really seem like he wants to. No, no, no. He can play around with the Zeppelin here and there. He's expanding, maybe even going tier 3. <coughs> and now let's compare the gold mine. 6,600, 5,600. And then Thousand gold. And the Mountain King, as he said, level 3, gets the Sumi Mask again, as he did on Twisted. But now for the important part, don't buy a Shadow Priest. Don't <laughs> buy a Shadow Priest! <laughs> I mean, he has Priest, why should he buy the Troll? Good point. Good I point. think the 5 bucks are pretty safe. I'm still holding my breath. It would be so fun if he just for the Lulz goes for it. Because, like, why not? Because he can't afford it. Janorin has subscribed for 16 months, man. Keep up the good work. Much love. Much love to you too, my man. 16 months is so... Like, and that, there's so many people with 16 months subs or even longer. Kind of baffling how, how long people are watching. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of very uh, faithful loyal. followers yeah, here. Yeah, Thank yeah. you guys so much. Of course, Krizzer is the number one with over 30 months, I guess. He got every single month since we have the sub button. That is so sick. Number one fan, I guess. Did a player pause or did a referee pause? I don't know. Game over. Game over? Yeah, it says game over. Uh... But nobody's leaving. Oh, Zafo2 as well coming in with a 16-month crew. Thank you very much, man. Why does the game say... I've never seen this before. 16-month crew. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh... Remo, I am very confused. <sighs> Today is kind of weird. Ted is not in the game anymore, who's of course the number one streamer. Don't you say TED anymore? Nah. Seems like all the Chinese are calling him Ted as well, and... I don't know. Dr. Real with 16 months as well. Damn! As I said, man, 16 months, there must have been like a big event 16 months ago. Maybe WCA Europe and WCA China versus Korea. That sounds about right. Now that was in August. Yeah, it's sixteen months is one year and four months. 
subtract four months from January yeah, man, is uh, basically August. That's that's July. What? Can you like twelve minus four is like eight, and that's August. No, July is the seventh, uh, which is the first one of the second uh, half, and January is the first one of the first half. You know what I mean? No. December, July is the, the, like, is the. Let's just count like four months backwards. It's December, November, October, September. So it must have been September. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got mixed up. <laughs> uh, I'm still baffled about like what's going on. I, I think the game is yeah. over, right? Yeah, well, it says game over, but no one can tell me what is actually Yeah, up. soccer is apparently also still in the game. I will ask Lolite. Lolite knows, like, not everything, but he's with Sock, so maybe he can explain. He doesn't really know how to win, right? <laughs> well, it got better. Apparently they are moving out of the team house, by the way, in February. Yeah, they told us, right? Uh, in China, that wasn't probably going to go too, uh, on for too much longer. Yeah. Too bad. All players disconnect. Okay. Ah, and Sock gives up. Uh, Was it like a Nettie's issue again? Or? Maybe, yeah. We've seen this uh, in December as well, that the server wasn't the best at this point but okay a little anticlimactic but i mean this was so over so yeah, it's this understandable game was and over. <laughs> infi with this performance in the winner bracket final dominating both games and sock in the lower bracket that was to be expected though as we said before um sock never won a game against infi or a series of course a map he won here and there but it's still a 78% win rate for Infi, which is now even higher and still a clean sheet for Infi against Sog. And that means the next game is going to be the Night of Mirror between Colorful and Life. Yep, your favorite matchup, Neo, isn't it? Not my favorite, but, you know, I really like Night of Mirror a lot. It's amongst the top four matchups, for sure. As long as, it, as, long as it's not Bear Mirror, I'm totally game. <laughs> feel like we had this discussion before. Yeah, we've had it countless times. <laughs> Especially during uh, the good old Jera Cup Night of Mirror days. Yeah, but in the end, it turned out that I'm right. So what was your point? That Night of Mirror can be amazing. And yeah, nobody... I, never, I never disagreed. I just said back in those days, yeah, if we ever had it. Because back then it was a lot of Bear Mirror. That is correct. And also at GCS uh, with Rudan participating, we had a lot of bad mirrors. But there, they were fun. The hype was so high, and his his nerves were just out of such steel that yeah. it didn't really matter. Rudan and his demon hunter man, it's like heart attacks. So let's show you the bracket. For now, it is Infi defeating Sock 2-0. Now it's Colorful versus Life to determine his opponent for tomorrow. Of course, we're gonna have the lower bracket semifinal as well. So two more matches coming up, and we're gonna send you into a small break. To refresh a little here and then we'll... At one moment before, thank you very much, Cranker, for the 9 month 3 sub, saying thanks for the best Walker 3 content ever. Keep it up. Love you guys. And uh, you keep this game alive. And as always, one 420 be blazed. All right. Blazed, yeah. <laughs> of course, we will do that. So, small commercial break. See you in a bit.